All right, today we're going over the uh, operation and safety of our horizontal bandsaw. This is for metal cutting. It's very similar to our uh, vertical bandsaw. A lot of the same safety rules here. One of the big things is when you're cutting round stock, you need to find your instructor and have them double check how you've got it set up. This is a very expensive piece of equipment. Uh, we want to make sure that we have everything set up correctly so that you stay safe as well as uh, we get the longest life out of our blades. They're rather expensive and uh, we've had it two weeks, we've already went through one. So kind of the basic operation here, we have a bandsaw that lowers down onto our cutting material and it's adjustable, we'll go over that in a minute. And then we have the base and then our material that we're actually cutting here. This is a clamp that we use to clamp and secure the material onto the table so that we get a good cut. And here I'm just gonna kind of position this so that we get a, a 90 degree cut and zoom in right here. If we're looking at this and how it clamps onto here, I push this all the way over and then we've got a lever here that pushes this in another about an eighth of an inch. And you can barely see it move, but that's under a lot of pressure, so this thing doesn't move. Especially round pipe, it'll twist on you, and so we don't want that uh, to happen. With our orange safety guards here, they, they guard our blade, and there's a couple nuts on the back side here. Kind of pan up here and take a look at these. I'm going to loosen this up so that I can move this back here so that the blade cuts all the way through. And you got to do a couple turns here, just kind of wiggle that back. I think we're clear there. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to turn this on and this blade is going to go that way, cutting this piece of steel here. We've got some ball bearing guides on here and we want to have this orange piece right here about an eighth of an inch to a three eighths of an inch away from the material. So once in a while you'll see you're cutting and you'll get down close here. All you have to do is stop the machine with this stop switch right here, move this back, and then hit the green button to start it back up. Need I say more? America? All right, a couple other things uh, is that this thing has a, a, a motor, an electric motor as a counterweight. So this thing actually drops at a pretty steady speed. And we can adjust that with this knob right here. If we turn this all the way in, it basically stops this from going down. And then if we loosen this, go counterclockwise, we can see here we can control the descent of this based on what this valve allows this cylinder to, uh, to go in at. And so I'm gonna stop it right there. And then I'm gonna hit the start button here. Make sure my area is clean. And then the last thing I wanna check here is that I have the material that's in here is not going to ruin the blade. So if we're looking at these two pieces here, this is a two inch square tubing, this would be some flat stock. I want to make sure I have three teeth always touching the material so I don't start chipping the teeth off. You can so see on this... A minimum of three teeth, like three or more? Three or more, yep. Okay. Did I say that wrong? No, but just so it's... because this one's got more than three teeth, oh. but that's okay. Yep, yep. Must have three teeth or more touching the material. This is not going to work. You're going to ruin the $40 blade by just shearing the teeth off. So you would want to cut that flat stock flat, laying flat then? Yep. Okay. And a good rule of thumb is quarter inch would be your minimum. Uh, it's kind of a gray area uh, because we've got a different blade in here than, um, than the other ones. This is a finer tooth. I switched this out. So basically, once you get this set up, you should just have your instructor check Check it and make sure it's, you know, for an instructor, it's just a walk by, half a second. Yep, good to go. And then you can hit the green button. Oh. I'm gonna show that one more time though, the stop switch. Stop switch, you can see some little arrows there. This is, it's a safety switch, so it's not gonna turn back on until I rotate that and then it pops back out. Okay. And what's gonna happen here is when it cuts all the way down, we'll zoom in right here. And this nut that's adjustable is going to hit right here, and that's going to shut this off as well. 
cool. Little toggle switch down behind there. Simple design, but it works well. So now, I don't actually have to touch this. I can turn this dial, and you can see it's actually dropping. I'm gonna stop it right there and I'm gonna just say, you'll, you're gonna watch it, it's gonna bump once in a while. And that's because the blade, when they make it, they weld it together and that's just a little, uh, little discrepancy in the blade. So that's a total normal thing. If you see it bouncing a lot, you need to shut it off and come get your instructor. All right, turning back on. got a pretty good cut here as you can see I had this aligned pretty well and it's a nice 90 degree cut this piece right here this is scrap I can't use this for anything so I'm just gonna make sure I recycle that when I'm done cutting I need to pick up the area throw these things out uh, and then every Friday we'll take our vacuum and vacuum up the shavings one other thing I want to go over now is how to set this up for different angled cuts this was just a nice 90 degree cut So if I wanted to do an angled cut, uh, you screw a uh, pan in over here, we've got this uh, angled gauge here, and to adjust that, we can go either way. 45s are already set up on here, and all I have to do is loosen this lever up right here, kind of counterclockwise, and it's, it's snug. There we go. And then all I have to do, the machine's very heavy, so it'll just stay there. And I can just use this as a lever to turn this one way or the other. You can see it moving. And then one thing that you have to watch out for is right now, I'm gonna cut into this table. Bad, that, that's very bad. So if I'm gonna be doing an angled cut, you need to meet with your instructor to make sure that you have a piece of wood down, just like a quarter inch masonite or something so that when you're cutting, you go into that and that shuts off down here instead of cutting into the table. Always bring it back to 90 for the next person. And then tighten this lever up down at the base. And as a, uh, a, a good rule of thumb, if this looks at 90, uh, you probably want to double check it to make sure it is 90 and not 89 degrees. Last thing, uh, always push this in when, we're, not, when it's not in use. Let's do that one more time. Oh, so this is the lever that we use to pick this up and to move it, you know, anywhere we need to in the room. Uh, I just want it in so that people don't trip on it. And this needs to be all the way down uh, when, it's, when it's done. We don't want it up in the air. I think, I think that's pretty much it. What, what do we have for minutes? Nine. Nine, okay. We'll call it good. <laughs>